While authorities are still investigating a murder and house fire in Ocano County, friends and family members gathered to help four children who lost their home and their mother. Robert Hornacek has more in this Fox 11 follow-up. Two months after their mother was found murdered inside the family's burned out home, Christy Stavens' four children are dealing with the loss. But it bothers me when I go home though. I'm getting ready to go to bed and I uh, like windows open so I look up at the sky and then I start crying. Stavens' oldest son, 14-year-old Zach, was not home when fire tore through their home in the town of Chase. Investigators say Staven was dead before someone started the home on fire. Her other three children got out with minor burns. And police say there are no suspects in the case. Stavens' ex-husband says it's not easy to deal with what's happened. And it's getting harder and harder, you know, because there is no closure. Nobody knows what actually happened to her, who started it, or anything like that. Now friends and family are trying to make life a little easier for Stavens' children. Overall, the family's doing good, but it's just knowing that there's a murderer running around, it's, it's hard. Carol LeBlanc helped put together this fundraiser for the family. Dozens of people showed up at the SC Grand and De Pere for a silent auction, raffle, and other activities. LeBlanc says all of the money will be put in a savings account and eventually a trust fund for the children. You know, hopefully for college down the line, um, just anything in general what they need because they lost everything. There was nothing really they had to save. Staven's ex-husband says he cannot believe how generous people have been to the family. I don't know exactly how to feel because uh, it's overwhelming. I was just saying that just to say thanks. Staven's children say nothing will be able to replace what they've lost, but they appreciate the outpouring of support. Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. The benefit for the Staven children goes until 6 o'clock tonight. If you would like to donate to the fund, you can do so at any Bay Lake Bank.